Amen. Glory to thee, Lord God. Glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth. Lord, everywhere for us and fill us with things. Cherish your blessings and give of life. Come and abide in us. Cleanse us of every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever unto the apes of apes, amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever unto the apes of apes, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil one. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Attend to my righteousness, O Lord. Give heed to my supplication. Give ear unto my prayer, which comes not from deceitful lips. Let my judgment come forth from thy presence. Let mine eyes behold of brightness. Thou hast proved my heart, thou hast visited me in the night, thou hast tried me by fire, and unrighteousness was not found in me, so that my mouth might not speak of the works of men. For the sake of the words thy lips have I kept, the ways that are hard, direct my steps in thy path, so that my footsteps may not be shaken. I pray, for thou hast heard me, O God, incline an ear to me, and hear my words. Show thy marvelous mercy till thou that savest them that hope in thee, from them that resist thy right hand. Keep me as apple of thine eye, O Lord. Thou shalt shelter me in the shelter of thy wings from the face of the ungodly that impress me. My enemies surrounded my soul. They enclosed themselves their own fat. Their mouth spoke of pride. They that cast me out has now encompassed me. They set their eyes to look down on the earth. They seized me like a lion ready for its prey and like a young lion dwelling in secret places. Arise, O Lord, overtake them and trip their heels. Deliver my soul from the ungodly, thy sword from the enemies thy hand. O Lord, from thy few, Separate them from the earth in their life, and their belly was filled with hidden treasures, and they were satisfied with sons, and the remnants they left to their babes. But as me, I shall be seen in righteousness before thy face, I shall be satisfied when I see thy glory. Unto thee, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul, O my God, I have put my trust in thee. Let me not be put to shame, neither let my enemies laugh me to scorn. Yea, for none of them that wait on thee shall be ashamed, let them be ashamed that transgress without a cause. Make thy ways known to me, O Lord, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth, and teach me, for thou art God my Savior. Be my way that all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth and my ignorance. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he set a law for them that sin in the way. He will guide the meek and judge what he will teach and make his ways. All the ways of Lord of mercy and truth for them that seek his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my sin, for it is great. <clears throat> Who is a man that fears the Lord? He shall set a law for him the way which he hath chosen. His soul shall dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of them, and fear him, and his covenant shall be made known to them. My eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the snare. Look upon me and have mercy on me, for I am only begotten and poor. <clears throat> the afflictions of my heart are multiplied. Deliver me from my necessities. Look upon my lowliness and my trouble and forgive all my sins. Look upon my enemies, so they are multiplied, and they hated me with an unjust hatred. Keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I set my hope on thee. The innocent, the upright, have cleaved unto me, for I waited on thee, O Lord. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my iniquity and my sin is continually before me. Against only have I sinned, and done what is evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquity, and since to my mother bear me. For behold, I was loved truth, the unknown and hidden things, thy wisdom as thou made known unto me. 
Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be cleansed. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt cause me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that have been humble shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation, and establish me with a governing spirit. I will teach transgressors thy ways, and godly shall return to thee. Deliver me from blood, guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou desired sacrifice, thou would have given it. Thou wilt not be pleased with the whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humble of heart God will not despise. Good, O Lord, in thy good flesh and sign, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation, hope, and offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, of mercy, Lord, of mercy, Lord, of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thou wast transfigured on the mount, O Christ God, revealing thy glory to thy disciples as far as they could bear it. Thine everlasting light shine upon us sinners through the prayers that they took us, O giver of light. Glory to thee, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine, who is but forth the fruit of life, for ye entreat thee, O sovereign lady, and proceed together with the holy apostles, that he may be merciful to our souls. Bless us, Lord God, bless us, Lord, day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, let mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, let mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, let mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for our name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Pray to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil one. Amen. On the mount thou wast transfigured, O Christ God, and thy disciples beheld thy glory as far as they could see it, so that when they should behold thee crucified, they would understand that thy suffering was voluntary and would proclaim to the world that thou art truly the radiance of the Father. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou would every season, every hour in heaven on earth, Lord worship and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long suffering, merciful and compassionate. Who loves the just to show us mercy upon the sinner who call us all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels and guide and guarded by their hosts. We may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge and unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption, thou gavest birth to God the Word. Truth, thou talk, O sweet, magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. Truth, blessed Master, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, mercy on us, and Amen. God the Master, Father Almighty, O Lord Jesus Christ, Thou Holy Begotten Son, and Thou Holy Spirit, one God at one power. Have mercy on me, a sinner, by the judgments known to Thee. Save me, Thine unworthy servant, for blessed art Thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. 
Save me, O God, by thy name, and judge me by thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God, and hear to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and mighty men have sought after my soul. They have not set God before them, for behold, God helps me. The Lord is the protector of my soul. He shall reward evils upon my enemies. Utterly destroy them in thy truth. I will freely sacrifice to thee. I will confess thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For thou hast delivered me out of every affliction. My eye has looked down upon my enemies. Give ear to my prayer, O God. Despise not my supplication. Attend to me and hear me. I was grieved in my meditation and troubled because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the sinner. For they brought iniquity against me, and in wrath were they indignant with me. My heart was troubled within me, and the fear of death has fallen upon me. Fear and trembling came upon me, and darkness has covered me. And I said, Who will give me wings like a dove? Then would I fly away and be at rest. Lo, I have fled afar off, and have dwelt in the wilderness. I waited for him that should save me from faint-heartedness and tempest. Drown them, O Lord, and divide their tongues. For I have seen iniquity and strife in the city. Day and night it shall go round about her on her walls. And iniquity and sorrow and unrighteousness are in the midst of her. And usury and deceit have not departed from her streets. For if an enemy had reproached me, I would have borne it. If one who hated me had spoken evils against me, I would have hid myself from him. But it was thou, a man of like soul, my guide and my own familiar friend, who together with me didst make her meals sweet. We walked in the house of God with one mind. Let death come upon them. Let them go down alive into hell. For wickedness is in their dwellings in the midst of them. As for me, I cried to God, and the Lord heard me. Evening and morning and at noon, I will recount and declare it, and he shall hear my voice. He shall deliver my soul in peace from them that draw near to me. For they were with me in great numbers. God shall hear and shall humble them. He that exists before the ages, for there is no change with them, because they have not feared God. He has stretched forth his hand for retribution. They have profaned his covenant. They were scattered by the wrath of his countenance. Their hearts grew nigh. His words were smoother than oil, yet they are darts. Cast thy care upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never permit the righteous to be shaken. But thou, God, shall bring them down to the pit of destruction. Bloodthirsty and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. But as for me, O Lord, I will hope in thee. He that dwells in the help of the Most High shall abide under the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say to the Lord, Thou art my helper and my refuge, my God, and I will hope in him. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunters and from a troubling word. He shall overshadow thee with his shoulders, and under his wings shalt thou hope. His truth shall encompass thee with a shield. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the thing that walks in darkness, <clears throat> nor for the mishap and the demon of noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou consider and see the reward of sinners. For thou, Lord, art my hope, thou hast made the most high thy refuge. No evil shall come upon thee, no scourge shall draw near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the asp and basilisk. Thou shalt trample upon the lion and dragon. For he has set his hope on me, and I will deliver him. I will shelter him, because he has known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hear him. I am with him in affliction, and I will deliver him and glorify him. With length of days will I satisfy him, and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast transfigured on the mount of Christ God, revealing thy glory to thy disciples, as far as they could bear it. Let thine everlasting light shine upon us sinners, through the prayers of the Theotokos, O giver of light, glory to thee. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. As we have no boldness on account of the multitude of our sins, O virgin Theotokos, intercede with him who was born of thee. For much more is the prayer of a mother, able to incline the master unto kind-heartedness. <clears throat> Despise not the supplications of sinners, O all pure one, for merciful and strong to save is he who condescended to suffer for us. Let thy compassions quickly go before us, O Lord, for we are become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. O Lord, deliver us and be gracious unto our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. 
Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lord, thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of the Amen. Amen. On the mountain was thou transfigured, O Christ God. And thy disciples beheld thy glory as far as they could see it, so that when they should behold thee crucified, they would understand that thy suffering was voluntary, and would proclaim to the world that thou art truly the radiance of the Father. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who are long suffering, merciful and compassionate, who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner. Who call us all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds. Deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels that, guided and guarded by their host, we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. Through the prayers of the most blessed Master, Lord Jesus Christ, the God of mercy, and mercy, and mercy, Amen. O God, the Lord of hosts, and author of all creation, who in thine ineffable and tender mercy has sent down thine only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our kind, and through his precious cross has torn up the record of our sins, and thereby triumphed over the princes and dominions of darkness. Do thou, O Master, who lovest mankind, accept these prayers of thanksgiving and supplication, even from us sinners. Deliver us from every dark and deadly transgression, and from all the visible and invisible enemies that seek to do us harm. Nail down our flesh with the fear of thee, let not our hearts incline to evil words or thoughts. Rather, wound our souls with thy love, that ever gazing upon thee, guided by thy light, and beholding thee the eternal light that no man can approach, we may offer up unceasing praises and thanksgiving unto thee, the Father without beginning, together with thine only begotten Son, and thine all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Bless, Master. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Lord, have mercy. For the right reverend 
abbot of this holy monastery, Archimandrite Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy habitation, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may Delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Glory to the Father and to the 
Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. Moses faded on the Mount of Christ God, revealing thy glory to thy disciples as far as they could bear it. Let thy everlasting light shine upon us sinners through the prayers of the Theotokos, O giver of thy glory to thee. As the mountain are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from this time forth and forevermore. Now is transfigured on the Mount of Christ God, revealing thy glory to thy disciples as far as they could bear it. Let thy everlasting light shine upon us sinners through the prayers of the sojourn in thy tent, who shall dwell in thy holy mountain. Thou was transfigured on the mount of Christ God, revealing thy glory to thy disciples as far as they could bear it. Let thy everlasting light shine upon us sinners through the prayers of the Theotokos, forgiver of love. Ascend the mountain of the Lord, and who shall stand in his holy place? Thou was transfigured on the mount of Christ, God, revealing thy glory to thy disciples as far as they could bear it. Let thy everlasting light shine upon us sinners through the prayers of the Theotokos, O giver of love. them bring me to thy holy mountain. Thou was transfigured on the mount of Christ God, revealing thy glory to thy disciples as far as they could bear it. Let thy everlasting light shine upon us
Kimenon and the fourth tone. Kimenon and the fourth tone. O Lord, how manifold are thy works, and wisdom hast thou made them all. General Epistle of the Holy Apostle Peter. Brethren, be even more diligent to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall not sin at any time. For so an entrance shall be supplied to you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For this reason, I will not be negligent to remind you always of these things, though ye know them and are established in the present truth. Yea, I think it is right, as long as I am in this body, to stir you up by reminding you, knowing that shortly I must put off my body, just as our Lord Jesus Christ showed me, Moreover, I will be careful to ensure that ye always have a reminder of these things after my decease. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received from God the Father honor and glory when such a voice came to him from the excellent glory, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. And we heard this voice which came from heaven when we were with him on the holy mountain. And so we have the prophetic word made more sure, which you do well to heed as a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your heart. And to thy spirit, alleluia, 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 in the eighth tone. Uh... 
lift them up into a high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them. And his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elijah talking with him. Then answered Peter and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If thou wilt, let us make here three tabernacles, one for thee and one for Moses and one for Elijah. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face and were sore afraid. And Jesus came and touched them and said, Arise and be not afraid. And when they had lifted up their eyes, they saw no man save Jesus only. And as they came down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, saying, Tell the vision to no man until the Son of Man be risen again from the dead. Peace be unto thee. Let us all say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Have mercy in us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Beatitude, our Metropolitan Tikon, for his grace, Bishop Alexis, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the right Reverend Abbot of this holy monastery, Archimandrite Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces. Blessed and ever memorable holy orthodox patriarchs and for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy habitation for the newly departed proto presbyter leonid archpriest adam mary vadim eric kira nancy esteban edward and john and for all our fathers and brethren the orthodox depart this life before us who here and in all the world lie asleep in the lord for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the brotherhood of this holy monastery, for Metropolitan Tikon, Metropolitan Herman, Metropolitan Jonah, Archbishop Michael, Archbishop Mark, and Bishop Alexis, Archimandrite Sergius, Igermans, Gabriel, and Cyprian, Archpriest John, Stephen, Alexander, and Daniel, Hieromonks, and Akinti, and Herman, Priest Ignatius, Michael, and Michael, Hierodeacons, Mark, and David, Monks, Nicodemus, and Kirill, Rassifor monks Michael, Anton, Stephen, and Stephanos, novices Paul, Michael, George, and Andrew, 
Subdeacon Martin, readers John, Ezekiel, Paul, Benedict, and Richard, Marishka's Jeanette, Catherine, Dorothy, Alexandra, Elizabeth, Amelia, Gail, Dolores, and Rachel, Mary, Judith, Anne, Patrick, Maria, Anastasia, Eugene, John, and Christopher, for Thomas, John, Peter, John, John, Susanna, Benedict, Sophronia, Subdeacon Paul, Kathy, Mary, Catherine and Mary, Gail, Mary Ann, Christina, Debbie, Jennifer and Natalia, Christopher, Michael, Olga, Joby, and for all the seminarians, faculty, administration, staff, alumni, trustees, benefactors, and pilgrims of this holy habitation, and their families, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Let 
Blessed Tikhon, Archbishop of Washington, Metropolitan of all America and Canada, the Right Reverend Alexis, Bishop of Bethesda, Locum Tenens of the Diocese of Sitka and Alaska, the Right Reverend Abbot of this Holy Monastery, Archimandrite Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Now, the whole priest of the diaconate in Christ, the monastic sister, you the seminaries, the faculty, the board of trustees, for all five alumni benefactors, may the Lord God remember them in the seventh kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Present in this country for all civil authorities, the armed forces serving everywhere, the sick, the suffering, those who need of God's mercy, especially thy servants, Metropolitan Herman, our commander Zechariah, our commander Victorious, for thy servants, Archpriest Michael, Egumen Cronin, for Machiska Dolores, Cynthia, Chloe, Eva, all those who may ask to pray for, for Clem. May the Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom, always now and ever, and unto ages of ages. The Orthodox depart this life before us, especially the newly departed Archpriest Leonid. May the Lord God remember him in his heavenly kingdom always now and ever and unto ages of ages. You and all Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember you in his heavenly kingdom always now and ever and unto ages of ages. In the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. We may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Lord. Angel of peace, a faithful God, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Lord. Let an remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Lord. and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Lord. We may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Lord. Mission ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Commemorating our most 
most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious, Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God.
triumphant hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying,
again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts now offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having received them upon his holy and noetic altar above the heavens as a sweet spiritual fragrance, will send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy on us and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God.
forth thine kind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy good and life creating spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Precious cross and thy passion, taking with thee those among thy holy disciples that thou hast specially chosen. Thou hast gone up, O Master, into Mount Tabor, wishing to show them thy glory. And when they saw thee transfigured and shining more brightly than the sun, Falling upon their faces, they were smitten with wonder at thy power, and cried aloud, O Christ, thou art the timeless light and brightness of the Father. Yet, O thine own will, without 
on and on and on. We could go farther back through all the saints, St. Simeon, the new theologian. How about the Archdeacon Stephen, whose face was seen bright? How about Moses coming down from the mountain of Sinai, whose face was radiant? But what is it we are seeing when we are seeing those things, if we are blessed to see those things? It is not those people, it is the light of Christ. When the apostles finally got up off the ground, they saw only Jesus. And that is what we are seeing in these saints, is the light of Jesus Christ. So we must ascend Tabor by the efforts that we make in our spiritual life, by descending in humility. That is our ascent. The movement that we make is down, going downward, going downward, becoming an absolute zero that we might be filled up with Jesus Christ and his light. Now, whether we'll see the uncreated light in this life, well, that's up to God. It is not up to us. It is not something we seek. We seek humility. Only we seek humility. If we have that type of humility, well, God works out the rest. If we need to see that light, we will. If we don't, we won't. If it won't be good for our humility. But this feast day that we celebrate today, of course, is filled with great deaths. I'll leave that to your professors to teach you all those deaths, or some of those deaths and heights. But what we have is a feast which is called in Greek metamorphosis. And this metamorphosis is not in Jesus. Jesus always had that light. That light was always with him as he is the second person of the Holy Trinity. But the apostles' eyes were changed, the eyes of their hearts. That is the true transfiguration, that they might see that light that had always been there the entire time. That they might have strength when the Lord's passion came forward, as we hear about in the Chaparia and Katakian of the feast. But this light, this feast is a feast not only of Jesus Christ, but a feast for the human person. As Metropolitan Callistos talks about this and the Dormition. The Dormition that we're not supposed to die either. We're supposed to ascend with Christ and our soul be taken in our body with Christ. Death is the distortion. The Mother of God's version of that is not the distortion. The human being was not meant for death. But also in the transfiguration, his flesh was transfigured that they saw it whiter than any launderer can clean. And what is that? But a feast that is supposed to be all of us. We are to be sons of light, children of the light, to walk in the light. We sing about a gladsome light. We sing about this light that enlightens the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. We talk that we might be vouchsafed to dwell in unapproachable light, that Christ is the light of the world, and that we should no longer walk in darkness, but to walk and abide in light. And that light is the light of life, who is Jesus Christ our God. So that we might dwell in this light and on this feast day and realize that the light is pouring forth from the Holy Eucharist, is pouring forth from the holy wonder-working icons in this church, from the abundant grace on these grounds, what we must do is make that ascent of a descension by humility, to go down, down, down into Christ, that Christ might fill us up with himself. Dwell in that light, which is the light of life. Amen.
Make me worthy to partake without condemnation of thy most pure mysteries, for the remission of my sins and unto life everlasting. Amen. For thy mystical supper, O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of thy mystery to thine enemies, neither like Judas will I give thee a kiss, but like the feet will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May the communion of thy holy mysteries be neither to my judgment nor to my condemnation, O Lord, but to the healing of soul and body.
partaken of the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly life, giving and dread mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Amen. 
For thou hast not rejected me a sinner, but hast made me worthy to be a partaker of thy holy things. I thank thee, for thou hast permitted me the unworthy to commune of thy most pure and heavenly gifts. But, O Master, who lovest mankind, who for our sakes does die and rise again, and gavest us these dread and life giving mysteries for the good and sanctification of our souls and bodies, let them be for the healing of soul and body, the repelling of every adversary, the illumining of the eyes of my heart, the peace of my spiritual powers, a faith unashamed a love unfeigned, the fullness of wisdom, the, observ the observing of thy commandments, the receiving of thy divine grace, and the attaining of thy kingdom. Preserved by them in thy holiness, may I always remember thy grace, and live no longer for myself, but for thee, our master and benefactor, passing from this life in the hope of eternal life. May I attain to the everlasting rest, where the voice of those who feast is unceasing, and the sweetness of those who behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance is unending. For thou art the true desire and the ineffable joy of those who love thee, O Christ our God. In all creation sings thy praise forever. Amen. O Master Christ our God, King of the ages, maker of all things, I thank thee for all the good things thou hast given me, especially for the communion of thy most pure and life-giving mysteries. I therefore pray thee, O gracious lover of man, preserve me under thy protection beneath the shadow of thy wings. Enable me even to my last breath to partake worthily and with a pure conscience of thy holy things for the remission of sins and unto life eternal. For thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, the giver of all good. And to thee we send of glory, with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Freely thou hast given me thy body for my food, O thou who art a fire, consuming the unworthy. Let me not be consumed, O my Creator, but instead enter into my joints, all my members, my reins, my heart. Consume the thorns of my transgressions, Cleanse my soul and sanctify my reasonings. Make firm my joints and bones. Illumine my five senses. Nail down the whole of me to the fear of thee. Always protect, guard, and keep me from soul-destroying words and deeds. Cleanse me, purify me, and adorn me. Give me beauty, understanding, and illumination. Show me to be the dwelling of thy spirit alone, not the dwelling of sin. May every evil deed, every carnal passion, flee from me as from a fire. As I become thy house through communion, I offer thee as intercessors all the saints, the leaders of the bodiless hosts, thy foreigner, the wise apostles, thy pure and blameless mother, 
Accept their prayers in thy love, O my Christ, and make me thy servant, a child of light. For thou art the only sanctification and brightness of our souls, a good one. And to thee, our Master and God, do we send up glory day by day. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, let thy holy body be my eternal life, and thy precious blood my remission of sins. Let this Eucharist be my joy, health, and gladness. Make me, who am a sinner, worthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory. At thy dread second coming, through the prayers of thy most pure mother, and of all the saints. O most holy lady Theotokos, the light of my darkened soul, my hope, my protection, my refuge, my rest, and my joy, I thank thee for although I am unworthy, thou hast made me worthy to be a partaker of the most pure body and precious blood of thy Son. Give the light of understanding to the eyes of my heart, thou that gavest birth to the true light, enliven me who am deadened by sin, thou that gavest birth to the fountain of immortality. Have mercy on me, O loving Mother of the merciful God. Grant me compunction and contrition of heart, humility in my thoughts, a release from the slavery of my own reasonings, and make me worthy, even to my last breath, to receive uncondemned the sanctification of the most pure mysteries for the healing of soul and body. Grant me tears of repentance and confession, that I may praise and glorify thee all the days of my life. For thou art blessed and greatly glorified forever. Amen. Lord, now let us, thou thy servant, depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Grace shining forth from thy lips like a beacon has enlightened the universe. It has shown to the world the riches of poverty. It has revealed to us the heights of humility, teaching us by thy words, O Father John Chrysostom, intercede before the word, Christ our God, to save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From heaven thou didst receive the grace of God, teaching us by thy words to worship the one God in Trinity. We worthily praise thee, O blessed John Chrysostom, well-pleasing to God, for thou art to teach revealing things divine. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Steadfast protectress of Christians, constant advocate before the Creator, despise not the cries of us sinners, but in thy goodness come speedily to help us who call on thee in faith. Hasten to hear our petition and to intercede for us, O Theotokos, for thou dost ever protect those who honor thee. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption, thou gavest birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. In Christ, our true God, through the prayers of his most pure mother and all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for as much as he is good and most mankind.